welcome to the chapter quadratic equations solving quadratic equation click each tab to learn more in the previous examples we already learned to write the situations mathematically in the form of quadratic equation with an unknown variable x so now let us learn to find the value of the variable x in the quadratic equation consider a quadratic equation as shown on screen let x is equal to 1 then we get the value of lhs of the given quadratic equation is 0 as shown on the screen since lhs is equal to rhs we say that 1 is the root of the quadratic equation 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 is the solution of the quadratic equation also x is equal to 1 is 0 of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 3x plus 1 in a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if x is equal to alpha satisfies the quadratic equation then alpha is the solution of the quadratic equation already we learned that any quadratic polynomial can have at most two zeros similarly in any quadratic equation it can have at most two roots since zeros in the quadratic polynomials are equal to roots in quadratic equations now Let us learn how to factorize the given quadratic equation with the help of an example. Find the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0 by factorization. Solution: We observe that the given equation is in standard form. Here, for factorizing, we have to split the middle term. For this. we need to multiply a x square term and constant term that is 2 x square and 3 of the given quadratic equation now split the middle term minus 5x into two terms such that either the sum or difference of these terms should be against the middle minus 5x and the product of these terms must be equal to the product of first and last terms which is 6x square for this list out all possible pairs of multiples of 6 the multiples of 6 are 1 6 2 3 -1 -6 -2 -3 from the above pairs except -2 -3 none of the pairs doesn't satisfy the condition for factorization hence the middle term -5x can be split into -2x and -3x Now apply the zero product rule obtain the values of x we obtain x is equal to 1 x equal to 3 by 2 for verification put x is equal to 1 in the given equation thus by further solving we get both lhs and rhs equal Similarly put x equal to 3 by 2 we again get both lhs and rhs equal find the roots of the quadratic equation x minus 1 by 3x is equal to 1 by 6 solution given quadratic equation is as shown on screen by simplifying the equation further we obtain as 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 which is in standard form for this let us list out the factors of minus 12 they are 1 minus 12 minus 12 1 3 minus 4 minus 3 4 6 minus 2 
and 2 minus 6. From these pairs, it is clear that 3 minus 4 will satisfy the condition. Hence, the middle term minus x can be written as 3x minus 4x. So, the quadratic equation can be written as shown on screen. Now, taking 3x as common from the first two terms and minus 2 from the next two terms, we get factors as shown on screen. Now, equating both the factors equal to 0, we get x values as 2 by 3 or minus 1 by 2. For verification, substitute the obtained two x values 2 by 3 or minus 1 by 2 in given quadratic equation. As we get both LHs and RHs equal, the obtained roots are right. From the Coco code example, we obtain that if the width of space for spectators is x meters, then the satisfied equation we obtained is 2x square plus 45x minus 47 is equal to 0. Now, by applying factorization method, we get as shown on screen. So, the roots of the given equation are x is equal to 1 or minus 47 by 2. Since the width of space for spectators, x cannot be measured in negative values, we consider the width x as 1 meter. 